Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today in the session, we are going to discuss how we can handle uncertainty in knowledge representation of AI. In this session, we'll start with its introduction and also some control strategies that how we can handle or how we can control these uncertainties in knowledge representation. So first of all, I would like to discuss with you the meaning of uncertainty domain in AI. So basically students, uncertainty domain in AI refers to a situation where an artificial intelligent system encounters incomplete, unambiguous or noisy data leading to uncertainty in its predictions or decisions. All clear? This is the uncertainty domain in AI. In other terms, we can also say it as Uncertainty in AI uh, refers to the conceptual space where models operate with incomplete, imprecise or information with different meanings. That is called ambiguous, right? Information with different meanings. Also, managing this uncertainty is crucial to ensuring the system's reliability, accuracy as well as its robustness. That's why it is very, very important to maintain or to handle or to manage the uncertainty in knowledge representation. Clear everyone? Basically, it is the lack of complete certainty about the data, its model or its environment impacting the confidence of predictions or any decision that our AI system takes. If we talk about uncertainty domains, then definitely it is a specialized area. Clear everyone? Uncertainty domain is nothing but it is a specialized area in AI research focused on techniques to models to model, measure and mitigate unnecessity in data algorithms and decision makings. I hope all your concepts are clear till now. If you have any doubt, you can definitely comment below. I will help you. Now, let's just talk about its examples. So, the first example we have is, uh, these are basically not examples. These are the key strategies for managing the uncertainty in AI models right this these are not examples so first key strategy is the probability theory and bayesian model so what is bayesian networks let's talk about it first so in bayesian models uh, sorry in bayesian networks these uses probability theory to model certain uh, to model uncertain relationship between the variables let's say we have two variables that are linked with each other if these Two variables have a relation between them and the relations are uncertain and we want to control this uncertainty between these models then definitely we must use Bayesian's network. Clear? Next we have is fuzzy logic. Bayesian uh, models are basically for probabilistic modeling. Let me write it here for you. These are used for probabilistic modeling with belief updates. All right, everyone. Next we have is fuzzy logic. So fuzzy logic basically we have discussed this earlier in the previous lectures, right? If you haven't watched those sessions, you can definitely check the description box. I have already added the link of playlist. So basically, fuzzy logic enables handling of vague or imprecise data. All clear? These allow systems to handle imprecise or ambiguous data by assigning degrees of truth rather than binary true or false value. 
Remember this point, fuzzy logic here does not follow binary true or false value, right? It always used to handle imprecise and ambiguous data assigning to the degree of truth. Fuzzy logics basically are also useful in systems like control mechanisms or recommendation engines. So this is very important. Next we have is ensemble methods. So ensemble methods are what? So these methods, let me write it here for you. These methods basically combine multiple models to reduce prediction variance. All clear? So these methods basically used to combine multiple models to reduce prediction variance. Also we can say Techniques like bagging, bagging here means it always uses techniques like bagging. Bagging here means random forest. Its example is random forest. And another technique like boosting. So techniques, uh, techniques like bagging and boosting combine multiple models to reduce uncertainty and improve prediction accuracy under ensemble methods. Next we have is uncertainly, uncertainty quantification that is UQ. So it is basically, it is basically, uh, it uses some techniques like Monte Carlo dropout or Bayesian neural networks, these can quantify uncertainty in deep learning models just by eliminating confidence intervals. That is how uncertainty quantification works. Next we have is confidence scores. So students confidence score is nothing but uh, some models that provide, we have in AI so many models that provides confidence stores with predictions, giving users insight into, insights into how certain the system is about its output. If we want to check the certainty, right, if we want to check the certainty of Output of our system, then definitely we must follow this method that is confidence scores. Next we have is transfer learning. So it is basically a pre-trained model. It is a pre-trained model or we can say pre-trained model can adapt better to new data by leveraging previously learned patterns, reducing uncertainty in unfamiliar domains, there we use transfer learning. Next we have is human in the loop system. So this particular technique is a really very, very useful. So human in the loop system, incorporating expert feedback, expert feedback, at critical stages involves model performance and handles ambiguity better. If you have ambiguity in your system, then we have multiple methods, but the, uh, but the best method to handle ambiguity is your human in the loop system. All clear everyone. I hope everything is clear till now. We have basically so many types of MB, uh, so many types of uncertainty here. So first type of uncertainty I would like to share with you that is data uncertainty. For example, predicting lottery results or weather conditions with inherited inherent variability that is your data uncertainty. Another is your model uncertainty. An AI train or limited medical records may struggle to diagnose rare conditions taken under model uncertainty. Third is your conceptual uncertainty. 
कॉन्सेप्चुअल अनसर्टिनिटी इट्स एग्जाम्पल कैन बी योर ऑटोनोमस व्हीकल और ऑटोमेटिक व्हीकल फेसिंग अ न्यूली डिजाइन ट्रैफिक सिग्नल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑटोमेटिक व्हीकल है जो कि दैट आई एम यूजिंग लेट से फ्रॉम लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स बट अभी कोई नए टाइप का ट्रैफिक सिग्नल साइन अगर इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ है एंड माई ऑटोमेटिक ड्राइविंग सिस्टम डज नॉट इज नॉट एबल टू रिकोगनाइज इट इन दी रोड सो वो थोड़ा सा गड़बड़ हो जाएगा एक्सीडेंट के चांसेस बढ़ जाएंगे राइट सो कॉन्सेप्चुअल मॉडल जो होता है कॉन्सेप्चुअल अनसर्टेनिटी जो होती है वो यही होती है कि अगर हम कोई नया कॉन्सेप्ट अपने डिवाइस में एड कर रहे हैं सो वी हैव सम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ अनसर्टेनिटी मैनेजमेंट इंक्लूडिंग इट्स हेल्थ केयर हेल्थ केयर फाइनेंस ऑटोनोमस सिस्टम एंड न्यूरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग दैट इज एन एल पी so i hope students everything is clear to you if you have any doubt you can definitely comment below remaining parts or remaining concepts will discuss in the next session if you like the session surely comment below and thank you so much for watching the session